Well, speaking of banks, are you concerned about uh, banks being uh, uh, allowed to offer mutual funds and the confusion that creates among uh, investors over whether uh, uh, bank deposits are insured or not insured or how much is insured or the okay. whole question of deregulation? Okay. No, I think it's, I think it's very positive banks are be allowed to sell mutual funds because they'll probably sell a lot of Fidelity mutual funds. That's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, very important. No, but uh, seriously, I think it's very important that people understand when they own a bond fund that bonds can go up and down. Bonds are just about as volatile as stocks. And if they own a 30-year bond fund, that you can lose 25, 30 percent of your money very fast, even though they're government bonds. Uh, people have to understand this. There's an incredible rate of illiteracy in, in, in our public, and all they ever hear about is what happened today to Bristol Myers going up two or three dollars, what happened to Dow Jones. They don't get to learn anything about America. And people at some point in their career are presented, they're near retirement, they're given $450,000, $500,000 because it's an early retirement. They have no experience. They don't know what a bond is. They don't know what stocks are. And they have to make a decision in 30 or 60 days or they have a big tax consequence. These people have had no experience learning about the stock market. It's a tragedy. So I think anything we can do to educate the public, if you can convince people, if they understand the volatility of the stock market, I'm not saying anybody should buy a stock. I'm just saying if you buy, a, if you purchase a stock, you ought to do certain things. If you purchase a stock and do certain things, you will do better. If you're not ready to do those things, you, you should keep your money in the bank. Keep your money in a money market fund. Some people aren't willing to do the homework. They don't have the stomach for it. They should stay out. They're not doing anybody any good by taking half their life savings and putting in the stock market. Or they've, they've been lucky enough to save $50,000 or $60,000 to send their kids to college, and one's going to start in a year. And they're going to take all that money and put it on an equity mutual fund with a one-year horizon. That's doing no one any good. So I think the more, whether it's the banks that explain it, the brokers that explain it, anybody that does, and we're working on this at the SEC, the SEC is working very hard on this to explain to people the nature of these products. If they understand them, they'll do better with it. More information, the Marriott Fidelity is launching a major study. Uh, it'll be out the end of this year on retirement. We've interviewed over 1,600 people, over 300 experts. We're going to put a major study on trying to explain to people about nature retirement and how they can best understand how they should invest their assets. We're not going to mention fidelity at all, of course. It may be subliminal in it, but, uh, <laughs> but we're trying to help. And it, uh, the more we can do this, and there's been an incredible push by the SEC to do this, and I think it's a very positive element.